Welcome all the new Buddhists to my channel. My name is Chisum Belinda and if you're here for the first time, please click on the link below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a thing or two on my channel. So it's another day and all I want to be showing you is how I use a smartphone to edit my videos i use only a smartphone to edit all my videos i don't use anything called a laptop for my videos i use my smartphone to edit my videos so i'm going to be showing you step by step i'll advise that you be patient with the steps and whatever you don't understand scroll back and watch again and you can always refer to this video whenever you feel you want to see something you missed but I'll advise you to be very patient, calm, and follow this video gradually from the beginning to the end. This will really teach you a whole, whole lot. So, <coughs> right on this video, I'll be showing you how to use InShot to do your cuts, trims, transitions, um, add music, texts, voice recording, and all. The next video will be about Kai Master, but let's start with InShot. Now I'll enter the InShot application, click on video, click on plus and select a video. Okay. Repeat the process again, click on video, plus select the video. After I must have selected my video, I want to show you how I cut so and trim first. Uh, okay, let's do the Canva first. Click on, click on the Canva to set your part, the particular um probably you're posting on instagram you click on this instagram post for instagram stories you can use this this helps your instagram story look accurate so you know what you're posting on your story yes this is for instagram posts uh you can adjust using any of this means zooming or use this key here after that i click on good now i want to trim let me show you how i trim i will click on the i'm going to show you how i click trim right now can you see i've positioned my video so the trim helps you to be creative trim cut splits helps you to be creative and putting your transitions you probably just have one video i want to look interesting it helps really so i will click on trim then i'll um you can see you can trim from the beginning or you can trim from the end just about where you want to trim from you trim and then you save let's say you want to cut um, if you want to cut you click on the same theme and then you click on the cut right there click on the cut this helps you like i said be creative so you can see it so let's say you want to cut in between your videos you want to cut out the parts you don't want so you just keep playing the video to be sure that you're not cutting out the wrong parts be sure you're not cutting out the wrong parts so you just keep playing the video you can see you can move it what you what's going to cut out is the is what's in between you can see the side that is faded then you click on split if you want to split the video into two now the same thing you do play the video to know the exact place you're splitting from now you're splitting because you want to probably put transitions or you want to put a video in between that place or probably picture or something like that so the split helps you to be creative too i told you this part is too it's just help trying to help you cut your videos to create that um, effect and um, that's about this stream chord split so you just just get creative just get creative since you know what to do already just get creative so we're going to be saving because I, I i actually split because i want to show you how to do transitions so for transitions you will just you see i have two videos now click on that icon there in between the videos to bring you to the transition so you can't use the super you can't use the glitch you can't use the slice because you didn't pay for the application so i can only make use of the basic so i will be using the basic because i don't have access to the others i'll be asked to pay and if i don't pay for the application i'll just use the free one which is the basic so the basic has a little but um kind master has much more than this so can you see this can you see that i've picked one and i actually use that um length to um lengthen how it um how it comes up but it comes up fast do i want it to come up faster or slower so let's see see what i have see what i have this is amazing right this helps you get creative probably you're trying to transition to the in the next part of your your video it's just about creative uh, creativity i picked something else click on the same place click something else so you see how it works 
so you see how it works we just got very creative right now we're getting there we're getting okay now let's add text i'll click on text so you see that place you have colors when you click there you see label you see different stuff so you can even put a label on your um text like probably maybe have a black text on a white background so that helps click on the color to do that so this is about text i'm not putting any label i'm writing the name i can i can zoom in zoom out then i can even draw drag it let's say i want it to appear on a longer um part of my video all i'll use is this place can you see where you have the okay see i'm moving it i just moved it i moved my text so i can move it to anywhere i can click on it i can drag any of the ends to probably extend how long it shows on my screen um so this is basically that's um yeah you can split your text so you can use the split to split your text uh, can you see that you have um, the place where you have sticker there now that is where you add your picture overlay from and you can also add your logo like you add any picture any sticker from that portion all you have to do is click on that icon and click on the part the icon that has the gallery you see the gallery icon just the first icon there once you click on that sticker let's go so the first icon after the one uh, after that you see the gallery pick on the gallery pick any picture pick your picture whatever picture it says you want to pick pick the picture you see you can move it to any point you can zoom it in you can zoom it out you can move it to any point you can use it as a logo in case it's a logo you place the logo wherever you want the logo to be you can expand you can make it cover your whole screen let's say you're talking about this particular picture you just place it there so can you see how that's can you see how that looks um so that's about that see it see it it's beautiful right now you have your picture overlay and you can also um, control how it comes in like the transitioning click on the transition in there and you pick one transition just pick one transition you know we've talked about transition so you actually know how to go about this it's so easy once you double click on that icon once you just touch that um, picture double click it and it, just click it once you see the transitions and do your transitioning that's about that you see you can pull it pull it pull it everything sorry you double click click if you want to transition double click if you want to transition so um i hope this part is helpful already now see how it works i extended it so this is clear let's go let's add music click on music click on track see i actually make do with anything here because i use an iphone and i'm tired i don't have music on my phone but if you use an android better for you, you can get any music from your import music from your gallery so right here is my iphone i don't have music on my phone so i just pick whatever i see here can you see that i just pick this one okay i say i want to use this one i use this yes it has to download before i use it yep so it has to download before i use it mm -hmm can reduce the volume and uh, this is help this helps you probably when you want to uh, reduce the volume so that you're when you're trying to control how much of the music you hear in your bar you just want it at your background you just want the music at your background see i cut now when you're cutting it's probably you, there's some part of a video you want the music to be loud and there's a part you want it to be calm so that's the reason for this split i did on this video can you see can you see what i'm doing i reduced i increased this part i want the side louder because this side doesn't have anything i'm saying there's no voiceover so that's how i actually do that that's how i walk around with more music here less music here by splitting so that's how it works and then let's do now i'm going to show you the effects what they are used for like it's so foreign this part is what this part interests me so much yes you go to effects go to popular pick on button i love to use button i'll click on it i'll place it there okay i increase the volume um i like to use the button i like to use the button then i'll go again pick it in case it's not so loud i pick it twice at the same point don't leave that point while you're doing all this see the white line signifies that you're still at the same point don't leave there don't move that don't move the video at all then you go back to text um smiley you sticker you pick a sticker okay i'm picking subscribe because i want to do subscribe that's why most of my videos when you see subscribe you just hear one sound take him that's how i do it <laughs> that's how i can actually do it move it to wherever i want it to be it's still at that same point can you see that white line is still there because you didn't move it at all so when it plays you're going to hear that sound 
and as the subscribe comes on you're going to hear that exact sound this uh, as the subscribe comes on you're going to hear the exact sound so that's just it that's how it actually works so um let's talk about speed increase and decrease now the speed increase and decrease is used to actually make the video like i always say creative some parts you want some parts to be slow you want some parts to be really fast so that's what you use the speed and increase to do first all you have to do is go trim your video split it split from the part you want to be slow and the part you want to be fast like just this is your creativity your creativity working here then you click on transition probably put on a tra put a transition and it put a transition then you reduce the volume of the parts like probably that part you don't even want anything to play on it you're just trying to show something then you just um then you reduce the you increase the speed or you reduce the speed so that's how that's actually what the speed is all about so you increase you reduce the speed the speed is right there is that you're going back you're going front just about how you want your video to appear so let's see see how this looks then this one is normal 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 it goes transition and it's fast so you see this is how people get this is just everything here is creativity everything here is creativity so i hope this is actually helping you to understand like i said i'm going to show you a gen using a video in particular i'm going to show you everything i'm talking about today on one video but i want you to understand these things right now i want you to understand these things this is how it works actually this is how it works uh, so what next what next what haven't we implemented that seems to be it for now so when you're done you just click on the uh, icon up there to save your video save your video and you have the perfect video so one more thing one more thing sorry how to record your voice go to music go to music you see record there very easy record a voiceover remove the volume you have there before like i just did because i had a bad audio while recording this video so i used the voiceover to replace it that's about that i'm sure this is very 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 clear okay on the next video will be how we use how i use kind master to do these things and then also extract audio from any video it gets crazy and for comedians as one who wants to probably who wants to meet people okay don't worry on the kind master i am edit you see all of that so thank you and make sure you follow up like i said follow up and also be creative to get what you want always have what you want on mind before you even create any video all right mm -hmm.